In this tutorial we're going to talk about saving files, opening files, and we're also going to talk about some of the uh, zoom tools up here in the bar. Um, so very basic and simple, just like any other Windows based program, saving files is simple. Uh, to create a new file, you're going to click File New, or you can click on the new file icon here. To open file, the same, File Open, or click on the Open File as you can see here and you've also got the file save option okay now I am currently in demo mode because I'm not connected to a machine but if I were connected to a machine I can choose save or save as now it's important to know that in mini lays pro SE you can only have one file open at a time so if you go to switch from one file to another you do need to make sure that you save your file before you close it now when you do close it if it hasn't been saved the software will prompt you uh, to save the file so let's talk about the zoom tools. Uh, you have several options up here. Starting from the left, the first one is zoom window. Now zoom window is going to give you this icon. And what that allows you to do is to left click, drag around the object and release and it will zoom to that area. Now you can see the characters have some fill, which we'll talk about later, or hatching. So you're seeing the effect of that. All right, let's talk about the next one, which is zoom pan. This is going to allow you when you're zoomed in to navigate around using a hand icon. Now, one thing that's important to know, I'm going to turn this off and just go to a, uh, let's just go to a regular zoom. And let's go now back to our work area here with our pointer. If I'm using a mouse that has a scroll wheel, okay, which is used to scroll up and down for pages, I can also use that to zoom in and out. Now additionally, if I click and hold that zoom wheel, if I click in on it and hold, I can also zoom around. Okay, so it's very simple to move around and see your objects this way. I'll just use the scroll wheel again and zoom out. So let's go back to our basic zoom features here. We've got a basic zoom in, which is just going to zoom in based on where you're at, and a basic zoom out, same, same thing. Okay, and we'll go ahead and just move this over using the, the scroll wheel again. Next is what's called a zoom all. Now we only have one object on the screen right now. So when I click this, it's going to zoom to this object. However, if I had other objects up here, it would also zoom uh, and fit those objects in as well. So you'll see now when I click the zoom all, it zooms directly to the object. If I want to go back out, Okay, I can. we're going to skip this one for a moment. I'm going to go back out and go to View Workspace. I click this. It's going to snap back out to our total workspace view. The final one, which is here, which we skipped over, is the Zoom Pick, and that was not highlighted. And the reason is because Zoom Pick means it's going to zoom on the selected object or objects. So to use that, I need to have an object selected. It's going to click and drag around that. Now that my object is selected, you can see Zoom Pick is available. When I click that, it's going to zoom to that object. Now let's talk about real quick the selection tools. Selecting objects. You can click on an object using the pointer up here to select it. You can drag by left clicking, holding on the left click button of your mouse and dragging from left to right. Now you can see that if I let go without encompassing the entire object it doesn't select. I do need to encompass the entire object to select it. Now if you're familiar with AutoCAD, this has a CAD-like feature where if you click and drag to the left, now I do not have to encompass my entire object. Anything that this is touching will now become selected. So there's two different ways. Clicking again from the left and dragging to the right side of the screen you have to encompass the entire object you can see if I do not do that it will not select however clicking and then dragging from right to left across the screen I only have to touch the object and it will select it 